the pandemic continues. Thousand plus people dying still on average every single day seems to me and probably to most of you to be unacceptable. But for certain type of people, not necessarily because the poll went out. The number of US deaths from coronavirus has been, has it been acceptable or has it been not acceptable? Turns out it depends on your party identification. Let's bring this up. 57% of Republicans think it's acceptable. 177,000 deaths and rising every minute is acceptable. I accept it, it's okay. Now we knew they accepted it. We knew that they didn't have a problem with it, but they will actually say that they're okay with it. What a failure of a country, of a people that you can that you can get that result. Yeah. CBS News, not just some random online poll. It's not Reddit, it's not 4chan. They, they're like, no, no, yeah, 177,000. Uh, if Obama had had seven, I would literally never stop talking about it. But 177,000, yeah, no, that's good. And I want more of this. I want four more years of everything that 2020 has been. I mean, it, it is hard to have empathy for folks like this and try to understand that mindset. Um, it is back to the age old, are all Trump supporters racist? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Enough to overlook the racism, right? Which is racist in and of itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, they're following their leader. That's exactly what Trump wants them to say. And I think truly, and we know that this isn't really the case, that it is indiscriminate when it comes to who can be infected, age, race, um, it doesn't matter. But that disproportionately, COVID is hitting the black and brown community. African Americans, Latinos, Native Americans, mm -hmm. um, Polynesians I know in, in, in Los Angeles County, for example, are suffering far worse. They have higher mortality rates. And so if you aren't from those communities slash you love to demonize them and other them, well, they're not in your, you know, your beloved community under Jesus yeah. Christ. You know what I mean? Like they can, they're expendable. You know, this is what he would have wanted, Q said, etc. Yep. At the end of the day, it's eugenics. At the end of the day, you're okay with people who don't look like you dying. And hey, they must have deserved it. Yeah. So, I mean, I want to say, well, those Republicans, they must, there must be fewer people identifying as Republican. Hey, independents are 67%, uh, not, you know, say it's unacceptable. Maybe some of them went to the independent side. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, that, that's possible. Um, let, let's bring back up that chart because <laughs> 10% of Democrats are like, yeah, no, I accept this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, a lot of people died, but yeah, no, that, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. One in 10 Democrats. I mean, I guess 10% of anyone will say whatever you want, but and yes, well, okay, so 43% of Republicans say it's not acceptable. Are they not merciful? I ask you, are they not merciful? They're, Honestly, I mean, but this is the thing with like, oh, well, only 3% of the population would die. That's like 3 million people, right? Or whatever the math is, it's millions and millions of people. Are you okay with that many people dying, they including are. potentially your own family? Yeah, I mean, it's only a small percentage. What? More than every foreign war we fought, a Vietnam yeah. plus a Vietnam plus an Afghanistan and like 85 9-11s. Yeah, yeah, it's like 85, it's like three Vietnams. It, like, I, I don't know if I will remember to bring this graphic back every time. But like, just fill it in mentally for yourself. When I refer to it not as a party, but as a death cult, this is what I mean. They're okay with us all dying. They're fine with it. 57%. We have failed worse than any other country, and we're more okay with failure than any other country. I just I, look at look at this. When I and I know I know I know it's boring, and people stop watching when I talk about the nature of reality and whether we have a good grasp of it, and whether we care about what we believe is true is actually true. Right? That's abstract. It's removed from people's lives. Seventy-five percent of Republicans say the U.S. is in better condition than it was four years ago. They didn't say that in January. They said that now, 2020. You know, all the jokes. Worst year ever, right? Am I right? Worst year ever? No. Three out of four Republicans are like, this is better. Then 2016. Now I'll grant you, 2016 sucked, <laughs> but the like the unemployment rate is like twice as high. The economy is destroyed, right? Don't they talk about how we have to recover? A thousand people are dying from a totally needless pandemic right now. They say it's better than it was, and Trump deserves credit for that. He, I agree, he deserves credit for the the state of 2020. <laughs> but man, 25% of America at large says it's better off than four years ago. 
What is our world? What is left to us at this point? Can a country be insane? Has a country ever had the collective delusions that ours is suffering under? Consequential I mean, yes, delusions. Yes, yes. I think that, look, once you, the myths of this country um, become so fragile, they get more and more shrill. I mean, I think we can, that 25%, I'm looking at Fox News directly, mm-hmm. right? Like the folks who say that things are better, I'm looking at Fox News directly. And when you have more and more people in agreement that we need things like Medicare for all, we need things like, you know, accessible or tuition free college, that we need to have our debt relieved, you know, when it comes to going to school, you know, that we need better education, all the things, you know, that we have to rein in climate. Once there's more consensus, there's, there's the, the other side will be shriller and shriller and shriller. Mm-hmm. Once we start to talk about, hey, maybe you know we haven't really reckoned with our history of slavery. Oh, you're anti-American, you know, like mm-hmm. so. The, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense that you know they're, they are headed, they are leading the charge for people of lemmings off the cliff. Um, so yes, I think it gets shriller. It's darkest before the dawn. It's shrillest before the dawn. And I <laughs> hope we get to that dawn. Jeez, I, oh God. No, that's enough news for now. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.